A small town in Tasmania is the setting for a new TV series premiering, premiering mm. on ABC TV tonight. It's called Rosehaven. It follows the adventures of comedian Celia Pacola and Luke McGregor as they try to fit in to small town Tasmanian life. We'll meet the stars shortly, but first here's a sneak preview of the show. It's you? Yeah. Okay, two things. Thank you. Um, and I don't want it because it's a necklace. Grow up. No. Men can wear necklaces. Yeah, but not with a photo of the best friend at love heart. What's Josh gonna think? He has my real heart. Ugh. Listen, you're going overseas. Tasmania. Your mum's dying. Having a minor back operation. You're gonna run her business and you're terrible at business. Am I? Because she's asked my help and she's never done that before, so must think I've got some skills. Mm -hmm. I just don't think you've prepared yourself for how this is gonna affect you. What? Missing me. I'm not going to miss someone spewing in my dishwasher. Well, you shouldn't have left it open. You're right, I was, I was asking for it. I have a friend like that. <laughs> Luke McGregor and Celia Pacola join us now. Good morning, both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. <laughs> oh. And if you didn't like that clip, there are heaps of other clips it's in the show. Yeah. 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 Are they funnier? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's the least one. Uh, Luke, I was just about to say, I... I was intending to, to start off strongly, but I'm sorry, I can't look at you again after lukewarm sex. Oh, yeah. I know what you did to me, but you have just, you've completely, just what hide your face. You Virginia, what did you What you did to the, all of the mm -hmm. country with lukewarm now, sex. Luke, 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 remember, Luke, children yeah. are watching, so just yes, filter your answers right. accordingly. Yes, apologies. <laughs> uh, that was embarrassing. That was, uh, especially, um, when I had to show my parents. Uh, oh, yeah. what did they <laughs> say when you showed them? Oh, that just, it was, it was just, um, Mum just said, I think that was okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but it was awkward. It yeah, was... But, but you found love shortly afterwards. Yes, now, uh, she's watching now. Uh, if you're watching, hi. Say hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> um, yes, and uh, King of Sex now, so it, it all worked out okay. <laughs> Well, you've left your sash. It was the, it was the right yeah, strategy, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. He hasn't strayed very far from, from the family tree, though, in putting this program together, though, has he, Celia, in, in the inspiration for this? Yes. I mean, we are doing it. The television shows this. We're two characters who go to uh, Tasmania to um, uh, run a, a real estate agency for Which their parents. We'll and I mean, it's completely different from Luke's real life, where his parents run a real estate agency oh, yeah, comedy in fails. Tasmania. Yeah, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll go there. If the, show, if the show bombs, we'll just go <laughs> and help them run the business. Straight. <laughs> straight theft. Yes, exactly. It's very strange. What kind of, so look, I'm, from a very, I'm from Victoria, so I'm a mainlander, as I'm very aware of. Um, uh, but uh, from a very small town in, in Victoria, and Luke's from, from Tasmania and the real estate thing. And we just thought, Tasmania's just got such an amazing uh, background like the landscape is incredible and every different and everything's so close and small so we thought it'd be really fun to do something down there and the real estate thing we just thought it, it's so many stories with it because you, you immediately go into people's homes like mm. it just gives you license to have interactions with characters that you might not Normally? We did work experience with them for uh, 10 days. Yes. If anyone, we only got recognised once and we just told them that comedy had not worked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah, they believed true. you, yes. right? Yes. 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 <laughs> uh, was, was it uh, a bit terrifying going back to Tasmania? Um, it's, it's part of the plot line as well. You played Daniel, a big city boy going back home and copying a bit of abuse from some of the oh, people you used I, to grow up with. I mean, I was with. hoping that a bunch of people who used to bully me would audition for the show and I'd be able to get them right to the last uh, final two or something and then go, nah, you're terrible. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no one auditioned. One, one lady auditioned from school, but she was lovely, so uh, yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Damn, so no revenge. No and um, and uh, Celia, your character, Emma, why is she on the run from her from her brand new marriage? I uh, he my her husband. <laughs> I've, I've really blurred Fake the lines. Yes, you have. <laughs> I am not married. I'm not. No, I'm not. Um, uh, her husband left her on her honeymoon because we thought being left at the altar. Seen it. Seen it many times. So what would happen if actually you got went through the marriage, but then what at on the honeymoon stage? It's less rude, didn't work isn't it? out. Well, that's what we thought. Yeah, Maybe it'd be less rude. Not, like it's not in oh, front of everyone. Much, you that's much more. No, that's much more rude. It's like yeah. so you know you, you get the goods and go. Yeah, no, I want the goods actually. Yeah, that's actually, why they're relaxing by the pool. Just thinking, yeah. I don't want to go through with this, and then just sort of uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of ABC viewers would know you from Utopia. You, in fact, bonded on the set, not only right. bonded, but started writing this series between yes. takes, Luke. Uh, yeah, it was just sort of, we just sort of funny banter in between takes, I suppose. And we're like, you know what, we should share this with the world. Yeah. Yeah. And so it just <laughs> so it started writing But uh, it was funny, just actually on the way here, one of your producers was like, oh, can't wait for the new show. If it's anything like Utopia, we're like, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really <laughs> not it's like, uh, yeah. If there's really no infrastructure, they're very different characters. Very little policy discussion. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Creative differences in the writing process. 
Oh, not as oh, many no. as we would have liked, yeah. just for drama. You know. And we, we used to, basically, if our, char if our character said it, we got final say, and that was kind of how we sort of stopped any roadblocks. Um, but there was never anything like, I'm like, all right, I want aliens to vote at this point. So it's like, <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. Big, big differences. Yeah. Um, so it, uh, it's a properly scripted comedy, but how much of your comedy and your comedy together is actually extemporised? How, how much of it do you make up as you go along? Um, Oh, in terms of like ad libbing on yeah. set, not that much really, because it was such a tight schedule, and we'd been working on the script for so long. We kind of trusted our past selves rather than tired, cold in the moment mm. selves. Yeah, we thought more would happen on set, but uh, it was it was too. Uh, we we kept doing that to uh, get the final jokes, and we, I, there was a worry because you you write a joke a year before, and then you're Is filming, it still and you're like, funny? And you're like yeah. oh, I don't know if it's good anymore. So you just yeah. kind of have to trust it. So hopefully, we might draw choice. We'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Bruce. Well, 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 you're well, giving well. me a star running after the uh, after this interview. Yeah. It wasn't too tough. You got to work in the beautiful Huon Valley in southern Tasmania. The the, the, the scenery is just stunning. The every yeah, Tassie is really beautiful. And once is, I feel my toes again, I'm going to really appreciate. Because oh, yeah. you shot in winter, right? How, how hard was that? Oh, man, <laughs> just maybe not winter. What were we thinking? Too cold. Next, next season's in... Uh, my my sister-in-law has summer. family in the Huon Valley. Oh, I know how damn goodness. cold it is there. It's and so the cold. darkness as well. So there's about 25 minutes of daylight that we filmed it each day. So it was really... <laughs> one take wonders. Go, go one yeah. take wonders. And uh, Luke wrote a scene where I get drenched in a bucket of water. So that was Oh, fun. that's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's and, friends. But it was just really funny. On set. Luke was saying things like, I really feel like my character would wear gloves in this scene. I just feel, <laughs> I just feel like so this character would me, have uh, gloves <laughs> yeah, and I a can... hat and a fire. Yeah. I kept writing those scenes. We cut the and, scene and, where I had ice posted. Camps. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the ABC's always been a really good home for comedy, but ha has the explosion in, in what's available on TV and on demand and the like, met m many more opportunities for comedians like you and much yeah. more self-directed work? I think so, yeah. ABC's um, kind of the main contributor for comedy at the moment, I think. Uh, it's, um, so those, those other sort of you know, television outlets, if you like, haven't changed that very much or have they? I, I think st stuff like, um, you know, with, all the, with streaming services and stuff like that, there's more opportunity. Um, I, uh, I, I guess we... Um, Start pitching that space up, probably we've been talking about uh, around the place. Uh, <laughs> you mean you're supposed to be? Yeah. <laughs> but particularly now, the ABC has been so amazing and supporting, you know, um, giving a lot of people a chance to make one episode with the yep. Fresh Blood series and yeah. the, um, there's been a couple of them where they do it so and more for people get a chance yeah. to make something and get that training and that practice and then they've got it's just been a really a boom time for, which is for comedy huge in Australia, because yeah which is huge because you don't um it doesn't always work on the page as well as like you, you go, some people you sometimes i just need to show you what it looks like uh mm. so yeah abc has been great mm. thank you abc would you like to work <laughs> if, you're, if you're watching would you like to keep the creative team together work on new series act together in new shows yeah well, I, well we hope so we seem to, <laughs> we'll, we'll we seem to like each other we'll see if the show bombs oh, first yeah, and then we'll laugh in front of it yeah no unfortunately we kind of wish there was more behind it but we yeah, we're still getting along still quite getting well. On. But then that leaves us room to move for a real dramatic new idea style split. Wouldn't that be amazing one day if we were in a magazine with, with a graphic of a zigzag in yeah. between us? Oh my Got to get the magazine first. Okay, first. Right. <laughs> That's the, point. the next step. Yeah. Uh, look, Celia, really nice to see you. Congratulations on Thank Rose Haven. Thank you so much Thanks for having us. Thanks, Thanks for cheers. coming in. And uh, you can catch the first episode of Rosehaven tonight at 9pm on ABC TV. So and there's that, there they are there in the wilds of Tasmania. And uh, as, no you gloves. as you mentioned earlier, <laughs> Michael, they brought they showed it uh, to a, an audience in Hobart who ate it up. So how about that? I heard they Not booed. Not offended. I heard they booed and threw tomatoes you at the screen. You're supposed to say that. <laughs> no, they loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it and you'll love it too. Okay, let's